ethers can undergo auto-oxidation in the presence of oxygen. A trace of radical can initiate propagation steps that result in the formation of hydroperoxides. This reaction is of special interest because these hydroperoxides are a safety concern, especially when concentrated, and they can lead to an explosion. Therefore, the concentration and heating of ethers can be problematic laboratory procedures. A trace of radical is needed to initiate the process. The source of this radical may not always be clear, but nevertheless, the radical will abstract a hydrogen atom from the position that is adjacent to the ether oxygen, or the alpha position. This results in a carbon-centered radical. This carbon-centered radical will then couple with oxygen in a propagation step. When it does so, a hydroperoxy radical is formed. In the preceding step, a resonance form of oxygen having a double bond between the oxygen atoms was used. Oxygen has another resonance form, though. This resonance form is a di-radical. And actually, oxygen behaves much like a di-radical in many instances. Therefore, the mechanism may be drawn using either resonance form. It may even be oxygen acting as a di-radical that abstracts the hydrogen atom during the initiation step. In propagation step two, the oxygen-centered radical abstracts a hydrogen atom from the alpha position of an unreacted molecule of ether. This results in the formation of the hydroperoxide product and a new carbon-centered radical that can cycle through another round of propagation steps. Therefore, this is a chain reaction. Termination steps merely explain the fate of the few remaining radicals that are left over once the reaction has neared completion. But the vast majority of the hydroperoxide product is formed during propagation step two. Therefore, the termination steps won't be shown here. In this specific example, a heterocycle known as tetrahydropyran undergoes auto-oxidation. The process begins when a trace of radical abstracts a hydrogen from the alpha position of tetrahydropyran, thereby generating the carbon-centered radical that will be active in the propagation steps. In propagation step one, the carbon-centered radical couples with oxygen to form the hydroperoxy radical. In propagation step two, the oxygen-centered radical abstracts a hydrogen from the alpha position of an unreacted molecule of tetrahydropyran. This results in the hydroperoxide product as well as a new carbon-centered radical that can cycle through another round of propagation steps. In summary, the auto-oxidation of ethers is a radical chain process that takes place in the presence of oxygen. It yields hazardous hydroperoxides. Therefore, older bottles of ether should always be discarded or tested for the presence of peroxides prior to being used. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.